Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I am Ishra. And before I start my conversation on you are not a slave, you are not a slave, you are not a slave, please feel free to breathe with me or fast forward to the beginning of my little conversation. Elevate your mind. You are not a slave. Elevate your mind. Title. Elevate your mind. You are not a slave. Elevate your mind. Elevate your mind. You're not a slave. Okay. I am sorry for the gum. Warning, warning. I'm sorry for the gum, but I forgot to bring water. Right now I'm doing everything with, you know, carrying the cameras, doing everything you have to do to record to give you guys the information. And I completely forgot my water, so I'm chewing gum. I apologize. Real quick. You are a slave when you allow mind, money, status, food, clothing, sex, negative thoughts, others, and religion affect your state of mind. People these days are acting a little too um, egotistical with their materialistic things, which causes anger and jealousy and fighting and envy. Basically, the whole premise of housewives of whatever. Okay. Um, again, if I didn't say hello, everybody, my name is Ish. I'm an international life coach and I'm giving you a free LCC life coaching consultation for free only here on YouTube. Um, also, you please need to understand in the topic of you are not a slave, elevate your mind. But if you are a slave, your number one agenda that is put forth on this earth is make them want sex and overuse. So the number one agenda of the whole United States of America, which is a corporation, which is not a land, but it's actually a whole business monopoly that makes money off of independence and so on and so forth. But that's outside of the topic. But you are a slave because they're programming you to basically want their products, need their products, fight for their products, kill for their products. Um, but they're not telling you the secret society information, which is money is not the ultimate satisfaction of life. It's more so about transcending, well, this is metaphysically transcending, becoming better, helping others, despite all the bullshit and setbacks. Also, if I didn't say, viewer discretion is advised. Viewer discretion is advised, because this is an adult conversation, and if you think you're an adult, you're about to hear adult content. If it's not your cup of tea, totally understand, zip a lip, press the next video. Thanks for coming! <laughs> okay. Ladies and gentlemen who are here about the topic, you need to also to get to a place of not being a slave no more. Or if you're on a place of not being a slave like me, I'm, I'm not a slave. I don't clock in and nobody's clock, you know, but I still take care of mine the best way I can. And I do it with no hate. But if you don't know who I am, I'm Ish. <laughs> and we also need to start doing a lot of closed mouth paying attention stop worrying about what other people are saying to self or to you but focusing on why they're saying it and what can you do to transcend the relationship and take it to the next level of an elevation and not just nothing you know you would like to you would want to elevate with your friends and family if we're not elevating then we're not hanging out because like I'm trying to gain and grow my estate and and my legacy the beautiful son his name is Prince Audrey Prince Audrey yes he is and I love him to death and he's nine years old now and baby if mommy ever dies because we've spoke about dying and how the spirit never dies remember Audrin, BSS, I love you. I love you so much. Never ever forget, Audrin, that your mommy loves you. Mwah! I love you, baby. I love you. All right.
and as the bells ring I must slow down the uh, the talk because I don't want it to go too long but like I said in this whole world with all the many different independent companies moving around hatred self-hatred is the number one agenda that they infiltrate on our families to the point where they're not telling them that white people were slaves before black people so we're just getting the karma back from what we did to them because as moors because i'm a moor you ask me who i am i would say my name is ish they ask me what's your nationality i would say i'm a moor i'm not african-american i'm not dominican i'm a moor so i am i believe and i know i am sovereign so i go through under different rules but anyway that's my personal preference also, another good tip from me, Ishra the Life Coach, to self-elevate and never be a slave or never be stuck in the slave mentality for too long is you should also abstain from your desires. Abstain from your desires because once you start abstaining from your desires, you become stronger by holding back and not doing what you're usually doing. You transcend when you don't get that need you want. You understand? And whoever's on the phone is gonna have to wait because I'm recording for my for my internet friends from YouTube and the intergalaxy and beyond. Okay, also another way that will help you elevate your life and also keep you off of the train of being a slave to whatever mind money status food clothing sex negative thoughts other people family religion self-hate your hate anybody's hate destruction um you can also help others by helping others you are giving back a positive energy even though it's not to yourself but you're giving it back to someone else and by giving that energy by helping someone else you're sending that same beautiful karmic entry back right to you boom right in the neck like oh that tickle and you'll get that same return somehow whether it be in a paycheck whether it be in a response of someone's words whether it be in a nice smile from someone you never knew or whether it be people looking at you and you wondering why are they looking at you why are they looking at you it's because they love you no need to get upset it's because they love you every time someone looks at me I smile even though I even though when they're smiling at me and I don't know why they're smiling at me because I'm kind of confused on why they're smiling at me but help others helping others is going to allow you again to get that elevation in your life on many levels to get you wherever you're trying to go to um also another rule of function would be doing your due diligence now this is ding 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 the number one thing that people forget when it comes to not being a slave like if you if you forget this you're always going to be a slave if you forget this, you're always going to be a slave. If you forget this, you're always going to be a slave. Always. Due diligence studying is key. Whatever type of studying you do, it make sure you do it. Because within studying, you get smarter. Within smarter, you elevate. Within elevate, you make better choices. With make better choices, you live a better life. If you live a better life, then you're helping others. And if you're helping others, you're leaving your legacy seed all over the place. So please, ladies and gentlemen, coming from Ish, the International Life Coach from Queens, New York, New York, do your due diligence and study, please, whether it be in the corporate schools, whether it be in the metaphysical schools, whether it be with a master guru, teacher, learner, lover, hater, fighter, talk shitter, Whatever. Even the people spitting game at you is giving you positive energy. I got two people spitting game on me right now. Only two people spitting game on me right now. But I still send loving blessings to both them dirty motherfuckers. To both y'all dirty motherfuckers. Both y'all dirty motherfuckers. I wish you nothing but loving blessings. Ishura is sending nothing but love and blessings to the two people that I know are sending massive negative vibes to me for no reason, people, for no reason. But anyway, that's another story, another video. So by doing all these three things, I am telling you people that you will be elevating your mind and your being and your spirit and your whole aura energy around you to a whole new level to where you're like, wow. 
she ish was right think it think it read it study it know it feel it be it know it despite whatever attacks that's coming at you like whatever attack whatever whatever stay focused on whatever's going on around you whether shit's blowing up in in, in a big guerrilla warfare like doesn't matter stay focused stay positive and do the things that I said to do which was transcend your thoughts open up your mind close your mouth check your ego because you're also gonna have to check your ego I don't know if I said ego but you have to check your ego people when you are trying to pull from being a slave to whatever it is mind money status food clothes sex negative thoughts other people family religion Whatever, whatever your vice is, you're not going to transcend to a higher level until you transcend your thoughts, open your mind, close your mouth, check your ego. Oh, he's too short for me. Oh, he's kind of fat for me. Oh, he's too ugly for me. Oh, he's too poor for me. Oh, he's too rich for me. Oh, he said this to me. Oh, he said that to me. Oh, I, he made, he couldn't, he didn't make it up to me. Whatever, you know, whatever that may be. You got to check that because you have to know the difference between ego and spiritual mind because most people live, oh, if you didn't know, now you know, most people's mind is very two-sidedness. That's why the TV does the angel and the devil thing because people live on a very two-sided matter. What they're not telling you is that the two-sided matter is ego and spirituality. So to me my life journey is to have my spiritual speaking more so than my ego because my ego be talking too much shit that get me in trouble so i focus on my spiritual and by focusing on my spiritual i elevate into different atmospheres that's what i'm, I'm trying to elevate in, into interdimensional atmospheres if you're just trying to elevate in your materialistic world of your cycle of living then you're good but i try to do better than I did before so I want to try to hit maybe the seventh dimension eighth dimension can I knock you know at the sixth dimension you know what I mean because there are nine dimensions there are nine dimensions yeah nine dimensions so within saying that I say this also abstaining from your desires helping others and due diligence studying is going to get you great characteristics that will uplift you and make you better and have you thinking differently and more focused only on a metaphysical level only on a metaphysical level i'm this i'm talking metaphysics people like sometimes you're not going to see the good come at you in cash it's going to come at you in an old friend you didn't see for like 300 fucking years and you missed that bitch like a motherfucker and you're like bitch i missed you how did i fucking see you that type of energy return you know so it's not simple it's you have to understand trans dimensional living to get what I'm talking about if you don't understand the basic truth about trans dimensional living you won't get it but even if you get it on third dimensional on just the third dimension you still coming up with just the third dimensional but I'm saying it's more than third dimensional you get you get plenty you get plenty that's like pow 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 right at you so if you're trying not to be a slave, then these are the things that you need to practice in your personal daily routines to get you on a higher plane of thinking and a higher plane of response within your atmosphere. Okay? So, I am so glad that you guys took a minute to listen to me. Um, I'm actually way under than what I thought I was going to be and I'm so happy to say that um, again you can hit me up if you'd like on IG at I period T period S period S it's on IG or you can member me on MySpace eternally queen and princess locks well thanks for listening you guys and I will talk to you soon this is Ishara T, Sadi Sai, <laughs> signing off, <laughs> saying thank you so much for listening, thank you so much for watching, and like I said, Audrin, I did all these episodes for you, I want you to be able to come look at mama and be like, look, my mama was here on this
third dimensional earth and she decided to record herself and she's on y um, YT she only had five subscribers but she don't care my mama did that video for me because that's my secret I say I do it for me but I'm doing it for my son when I pass on this is a little piece of me that I can leave for him for sure Audrin I love you and everything I did in my life was for you you made me better Audrin like I I can't even tell you this now because you're so young and you're not going to uh, sit long enough to hear, but babe, you made me better. You made me better, my son, because your mama was wilding out before. I was smoking too much weed back then and acting a fool, but you gave me balance. and I want to say thank you, Audrin. You are the best first son ever, and I will always, 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 always love you because your mommy loves the hell out of you. And this more Haitian, Dominican, Syrian woman will always be watching over you. From here, way into outer space. You already know. Akuna Matata. Akuna Matata. <laughs> anyway, I love you, Arjun. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I hope I see you soon in the next video. Love and blessings to you all. Namaste. Wadu. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Um, boom Shanti. Later. Hugs and kisses. Kisses and hugs. Love and blessings. And I will see you soon. Mama Shiba too. That's my alter ego, Mama Shiba. Love and blessings to you all. Love and blessings to you all. Love and blessings.